Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video and welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I will be sharing to you guys what I think are the best setting powders, translucent powders, or loose powders, whatever you want to call, available in the market. Also guys, before I begin this video, I have dry combination skin. I tend to oil up here on my T-zone at the end of the day. I have dry patches around my face. So if you want to know the products, then please keep on watching. For these products, I usually use this flat top kaboom brush because it's the most convenient I got this from do care um, I made a review about this a long long time ago if you want to see that video then just check it out here in my channel sometimes when I want to bake I either use this or a beauty blender let's start from the cheapest powder I have it's the Nishido final powder this is available in only in the Philippines I got this last year when I was in the Philippines for summer and I got a little tan so I got the one in creamy glow the reason why I purchased this product is because Number one, it's cheap. It's just 150. You get 0.88 ounce or 25 grams of product. Many YouTubers claim that this product is very similar to the Laura Mercier translucent powder which I do not have. I actually wanted to buy one when I was in New York but the price was just so expensive that um, I felt like spending a lot of money for a loose powder isn't very practical. As you can see, this product is already empty. I really like this product, guys. I want to repurchase when I go back to the Philippines. I do not have a problem with flashback when I use this one. Um, this claims to have a picture-perfect skin finish in any light, and it evens out skin tone and disguises imperfection. This has a little bit of coverage, not too much, and this has like a baby powder scent, which is not too bothersome for me. My only problem with this one is that I oil up at the end of the day. If you don't mind retouching your face once in a while, then this product is okay. Moving on, the next product is a product that I have had used in the past when I was in college. Back then, I really, really liked this product. I think I've um, repurchase this product again and again. It's the 3W Clinic Professional Powder. Before 2009, this was known as the Dodo Palgantong Powder and it is from Korea and it hit a record of 600 million products sold all over Korea and Japan. I have read in the past that this product was used by backstage makeup artists for stage actors and actresses. I got the shade 23. If I'm not mistaken, there are only two shades for this one number 21 which is light beige and number 23 which is natural beige most suitable for us Filipinos and it has 30 grams of product so it has more product compared to the Nishido final powder this claims to make your face slimmer because it has a three-dimensional effect caused by a light reflection. This also claims to have a long-lasting effect against water or sweat. It does not stain or smudge easily. And apart from that, it also claims to have to give you that blooming effect and it maintains skin moisture all day long. So I bought this one from Beauty Manila at around 345 or 350 pesos. But before doing this video, I saw this powder on Lazada for just 245. So if you plan on getting this powder, then buy from Lazada because it's much more cheaper there. I have no issues about this except that it has a little bit of flashback. For the staying power, it is okay. At the end of the day, I get oily on my T-zone. When I use this, I usually touch up middle of the day. This product has a little bit of scent. It has, it is light. It is not that strong compared to other powders. If you want like a dewy finish, then you should get this. Next powder is also another powder that is very much loved. It's the original formula Coty Airspun. You may have seen reviews about this product. This was formulated in 1935. I got the translucent extra coverage and I have had this for almost a year now. I bought this from Amazon Japan which was around 1,500 um, but I saw this in Lazada priced at around 400 to 500 pesos. Many claim that this powder is 
also a dupe for the Laura Mercier powder and indeed when I use this powder it has a mattifying formula and this is very good for baking so far among all the products I have here this is what I usually reach when I want to bake my face the only drawback that I have for this is the scent it is very very strong guys and a little bit bothersome for me but I believe they released a newer version without the scent this has 65 grams of product this contains the most out of all the loose powders I have right now I usually use a beauty blender to bake or I use a flat top kabuki to set my face and the last product that I really like surprisingly is the Glossier powder and I got the one in light medium I believe they only have three shades for this. It would be better, I believe, if they produce a wider range of colors, especially that they're an international brand. And another drawback for this one is the price. I bought this for $22, and it only contains 7.2 grams, which is the least out of all the products I have. So I only reach for this sometimes kasi tinitipid ko siya guys. I think the reason why this is expensive is because it is talc free, paraben free, fragrance free, vegan and cruelty free and this also has diamond powder which is a light reflecting particle which counteracts the flat effect of most powders and it also has kaolin clay which absorbs oil instead of sitting and caking on top and it also has vitamin e which gives a non-drying formula this claims a matte not flat finish which I think is true because when I use this powder, it really gives you that matte finish. Compared to all the powders I have here, this gives me the, the mattest finish. I do really like this powder, but it is just so expensive. That's why I don't reach for it most of the time. I haven't tried using this powder to bake my face kasi medyo pag magbe ka, marami kang nilalagay dapat na powder, di ba? So, hindi ko yun ginagawa with this one kasi sayang. So, those are the four best setting powders for me, guys. If I will rank them according to value for money, I think I would go with the Coty Air Spun or the Dodo Palgantong 3W clinic why because um, for me the wilder you really don't get a lot of the product and it costs a lot it's $22 these two for me are the best in terms of value for money while I would also recommend this one guys if you're a bit tight I don't really have a negative feedback about this one except that you can get oily at the end of the day for setting you can use this one or this one for flash photography guys the best would be this one or this one I believe this is best for baking because you get more of the product so hindi ka masasayangan mag-bake gamit siya for special occasions if you want to be fancy then you can grab the powder so right now I'm gonna show you guys the swatches for each powder first one is Nishido wala na talaga tong laman guys but sisimutin ko na lang So that's Nishido, the 3W Clinic powder. It's really bright as you can see. It reflects talaga siya ng light. That's why it gives that brightening effect. Next is the Coty Air Spun. Um, yung Coty Air Spun, medyo hindi siya finely milled compared to the other two. And then last is Wowder. Mafi feel mo talaga guys that it's really the finest among all the powders and my konting konting shimmer akong nakikita hindi siya kita sa camera That is it for this video guys. I hope you find it helpful and informative. If you have any questions about the powders, then leave them down in the comment section below. Please click the like button if you enjoyed watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. And don't forget to click that bell button so that you get notified whenever I upload a new video. That's it you guys. Thank you so much and I'll see you in my next vlog. Goodbye! Mwah.